It was an unusual outbreak of chaos in Dakar. Opposition supporters facing off against riot police. The commotion brought business to a halt in the heart of the city. And it all revolved around one man. We are here to support our leader, Usman Sonko, but above all to fight for democracy, for freedom, for equality, for the rule of law. Forever we have been fighting. We are here to accompany Usman Sonko, but we say no to violence. They're firing tear gas bombs at the people. They want us to react, but we won't do it. We'll always be there for Usman Sonko. No to dictatorship. He's popular among Senegal's young people. Usman Sonko, a former tax specialist, is the biggest rival to President Macky Sall. But last month, an employee of a beauty salon accused him of rape. Sonko denies the charges and says the government is instigating a plot against him. On Wednesday, supporters joined the opposition convoy on the way to court for the hearing before they were stopped. Sonko's lawyer says police arrested him for participating in unauthorized demonstrations. Mr. Sonko has not committed any act with a view to disturbing public order. He wanted to defer to the summons of justice, and you are all witnesses to that. The drama presents an additional challenge for a man who's seen as a rising political star in Senegal, one of West Africa's more stable democracies. And I'm now joined by journalist Samba Baji. He is editor of Africa Check in the Dakar Bureau. Good to see you. Uh, welcome to the program, Samba. What are the circumstances surrounding Usman Sonko's arrest? So, uh, Sonko was uh, summoned before the investigating judge for his uh, first hearing following uh, accusations of rape. Uh, but on his road, uh, his car was blocked by security forces who asked him to change his route to avoid the crowds of his uh, supporters who were mobilized outside to follow him to the court. Uh, but uh, when Sonko insisted that he will not change his road, um, the security forces pulled him out of his vehicle uh, to inform him that he was under arrest for uh, disturbing public order. Why do Usman Sonko's supporters insist that the rape accusation he's facing is politically motivated? Uh, because it happens that uh, the owner of the massage parlor uh, did uh, different interviews when the accusation broke to states that she does not believe that there was a rape. Uh, moreover, uh, Sonko's supporters believe that there is a conspiracy because uh, Sonko, uh, because Sonko is seen today as the main opponent of Macky Sall's regime. He came third in the last presidential election in 2019, and since the candidate who uh, came second joined Macky Sall's camp, uh, Sonko is de facto the number one opponent. And then Sonko's supporters accuse uh, the regime of wanting to eliminate an important opponent before the next election, as uh, they did uh, with uh, the son of uh, the former president Abdullah Iwad and the former mayor of Dakar, Khalifa Sal, uh, the both were sent to prison uh, a few years ago. How much of a threat is Usman Sonko to President Macky Sall? Yeah, I mean, Sanka is considered as a big threat because uh, right now he's seen as the only one in the opposition because uh, there is a lot of grievances in the country. People are getting more and more angry and criticizing the way uh, the, the country is managed by Macky Sall. And all those people are now turning to Sanko because uh, there is no other opponent uh, uh, apart from uh, Sanko because after, after the, 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 the last election in 2019, uh, many of the uh, candidates or some politician who was in the opposition has joined uh, Macky Sall uh, camp. And now Sanko is seen by uh, many uh, Senegalese that have many grievances against uh, the government as the only one that can uh, uh, listen to them and that can be uh, the real opposition in the country. All right, that's Samba Baji speaking to us 
from Dakar. Thank you.